in Northwest News. It's a Christmas story that has people scratching their heads and wondering how some government officials could be so out of touch. Oregon lawmakers told an 11-year-old girl she could beg for money in the park but could not sell mistletoe. KATU reporter Dan Casuto has more on the story. It's not about the mistletoe. It's not about me being kicked out. And it's not about me. It's about all of us. It's about how we're raising wimps, how people would rather beg for money than work hard. Kind of that. You're motivated. Wow. <laughs> Did we even Bravo. record that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even ask you a question. You got you got yourself fired up, Maddie. Madison got her blue braces just in time for the biggest day of her professional life. Have you scoot up in your chair a little bit further? Her family didn't need the money for her to get the braces on, but she wanted to chip in for them by chopping, bagging, and selling mistletoe. That I handpicked yesterday. She squeezed into the Saturday market next to guys promoting pot, oh, oh, oh. playing music, and straight up begging. Skidmore Fountain is a public park, and that's what did her in. A security guard told her city code banned selling. The vendors pay for their permits, but this spunky 11-year-old really got fired up when the guard said, how about begging instead? We need to raise awareness that people are begging instead of working hard, which that this generation, we don't want tons of beggars out in the street. Sometimes it takes a fresh voice to puncture City Hall. I suspect our Parks Commissioner is going to be looking into that with her with the Parks Department and trying to figure out whether or not there is an, an intervention. After our stories, in the mayor's office, they too admit maybe this 11-year-old can teach some grown-ups a thing or two. I want people to know that we need to build up America's work ethic. A waitress in Vancouver is cashing in on someone else's holiday spirit after receiving a generous tip. How much was it? Reporter Jeff Janula reports. We experienced generosity from customers, um, you know, and gratuity is given, but nothing of that magnitude. I mean, $700, that's a quite hefty. Rosie Solis really says the day started like any other. She served a family at Mint Tea Imports in Vancouver for brunch, taking care of them like she does every customer. I had leaned over and this necklace was hanging down and she complimented me on it and I was all excited, you know, I made that, thank you, you know, and she's like, well, maybe you should start selling them. But that was just the start. As the family got up to leave, that woman pulled her aside, then handed her a note saying, I believe in you, along with a check for $700. The check was specifically to start up a business and she told me she had faith in me for that, so. That was really exciting. I was in shock. I was completely in awe. I, didn't, I had no idea what to do or say. I was completely overwhelmed and I just gave her a hug. Rosie says she has already used part of the money to make necklaces for her future jewelry business. She hopes to one day sell them at the Saturday market. A dream that's becoming a reality because a stranger believed in her. And she was catching a flight out. So it was very kind of angelic for her to come in, change my life and then leave like that. And that's going to do it for us here at i 501 News. We want to thank you for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.